What's good, YouTube? Car if I can't hear Aqua Life, baby. You already know how it is. Yes, another car vid, another lunchtime vid. You already know how that is. <sighs> Gotta get out of that building a lot more often. Jeez. Anyways, so I wanted to talk to you guys about the Chrono Jet reveal. Um, and then I'm gonna make another video because I wanted to talk to you guys about what I'm hoping um, Vanguard does in G. And I'm gonna use the term re I don't want to use the term reboot, but I'm going to use that term. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I want to go over Chrono Jet. So Chrono Jet has the and I, cause I, it's only because I didn't do it the other day, but Chrono Jet has, like, you know, the normal stride thing, like, pay the cost of dropping a, of sum of three from hand to stride of grade four from your deck. And then his other ability is that he, when he attacks, I think when he attacks a Vanguard and it's on Vanguard or Rear Guard, you get to counter blast one, he gains 5k, and um, your opponent cannot use Sentinels to guard his attack. So... Uh, a few things about that ability. One, um, you know, for you know, I think Force One is probably going to be really nice with uh, Chrono Jet Gears being able to swing with 30k plus, maybe 40 plus, depending on how many Force Markers you stack on your Vanguard, and your opponent can't just sit there and PG Chrono Jet. I think it's very strong and allows for you know you to for them for your opponent forcing your opponent to drop a boatload of shield um, to block him, and you know you potentially to close out games a lot faster especially when it comes late game uh when they're at four or five damage you know a crit to win or something like that just um i think that skill is going to be very powerful down the line the other thing i think that skill does uh you know on pretty on force two it's kind of just get you know push your opponent in a situation where it's like you know i'm going to either you know sack you but you're going to have to again you can't just pg me you're gonna to have to toss out something um but I don't I, I don't predict that that skill. I, I just feel like Force One might be better for that deck. Uh, but that's just me. Um, well, you know, again, we've yet to see anything from the next stage set. And speaking of next stage, I feel as if that ability kind of, you know, kind of more or less predicts what next stage is going to be and I've always thought this next stage is going to be restander something to the effect of uh, at the end of the battle it attacked pay X cost ride a grade three from your soul as stand and it you know you know whether it loses a drive check or not something like that but it's going to have an ability to restand your vanguard or at least put you on the chrono jet so that chrono jet can swing so you can like swing with with next stage for like a good mid-range play or like a game closing play and then you ride then you re-ride into chrono jet dragon and then swing and then use chrono jet's ability so you know it's kind of like the same way you know your opponent perfect guards next stage and then has to drop um drop shield or no guard for the chrono jet swing afterwards and then you still have a chance to drive check a trigger but you but at this point your opponent cannot perfect guard chrono jet so um it's you know i i just think that going forward that's going to be a very powerful skill especially in conjunction with uh next age and um so yeah, I, I, that's how I that's how I think it's going to be. And again, um, since Asha and Alt Mile are getting their you know essential grade four versions of themselves, I do kind of I do want to see if you know especially with Force Clans, if we're going to be moving to Force Clans utilizing grade fours a lot more with their decks. And if you know, I know you know for uh, Gear Chronicles they have like a quote unquote stride mechanic, but when it comes to like Ultima and Asha, I think that when we get their skills revealed, it'll kind of tell kind of like where they're going to go with their so um you know expected grade four versions um if they're going to be grade fours that just stay on vanguard kind of like a cross right type of thing which i think would be kind of cool um or if they're going to be something where you can ride it and then it goes away but how you get to that point um, is going to be interesting. So I'm very interested more or less to see what Asha and Ultimile skills are going to be. And then I want to see how uh, those skills we can might, might be able to predict or um, how the, you know, supposed grade four versions are going to work with their abilities. But that's my take on Chrono Jet. I think it's a very good card. Um, I'm interested in it because my favorite card from Gear Chronicles is Next Stage. I was never a Chrono Jet fan. I like Tiger. Tiger looks cool, but never a big fan. Um, so I really just wanted to, uh, you know... Um, just get this out of there because I love Next Age. I think Next Age is one of the coolest cards ever made, and um, it's a deck that I'm personally consider making. I mean, the tr the 
perfect guard p the perfect guard is getting reprinted in the chrono jet trial deck i you know i got i know a lot of people that are going to be picking up the trial deck um you know and they're probably going to be looking for like the hollow copies of everything and whatnot um i think i could just pick me up a trial deck get what i need from that um get you know and then pick up the other common uh draw trigger pgs from there and then wait for the next stage booster to drop to um you know go in on that but um you know, we'll see what happens on that front. Uh, next video, I want to talk about Vanguard G because I feel like G is a chance to kind of reboot the structure of how clans um, are supported. Uh, not saying that, that they would have to reboot the game again in general, but at least get, you know, you, you know, um, because the guy for the lead producer came up with that letters apologizing for Riviere and Excel 2 and stating that they're going to kind of redesign the way that they do Excel clans. I feel as if Vanguard G presents a unique opportunity um, that, uh, you know, they, they probably kind of didn't have before. And I'm very interested to see where they take with that. But I will uh, talk with you guys when I get some more time again. Um, and I will, you know, definitely want to have a huge discussion about that when I do release that video uh, shortly. So this is a card, card fight King, Aqua Life Baby. Again, Ravon's here soon. We got a lot of videos planned for that. You already know it's the comeback. Let's get it. Aqua Life, we out.